Hey everybody, it's Brian. I've got a real short update for you. So we are, um, we've got grade passback. We think we've got it figured out and it's because there's a major change in how grade passback works. Meaning when I post grades from Canvas, how do they get into PowerSchool? Previously, so last year, we had to make sure your categories or your groups in Canvas were typed the same way as groups in PowerSchool. That's the major change. So we don't have to type them anymore because Canvas has changed and it pulls in assignment groups from PowerSchool. So I'm on an assignment list in a course and I click on the menu button on the top of the assignments list. And there's a new button here. It says import assignment groups. So you need to go to your assignments list, click on import assignment groups, and then you are going to add. And so what that does is it sends a request to Power Teacher Pro or our gradebook and it says, give me all the categories linked to this course. Um, so I'm gonna let it go for a minute. It gave you that success message and it can take 15 or 30 seconds. Um, so it's gonna go through all of those categories and it's actually going to import them. And that's where the link happens now. Instead of matching the name only, it actually matches an ID number. So it's a lot more reliable. So I'm gonna refresh the page real quick. And hopefully, We've got all these different, so here we go. So you can see this icon here means that this group has been imported from PowerSchool. And this group then is the one that will send to PowerSchool and that's critical. If there's a group you grabbed that you're actually not going to use, you can just go ahead and delete it. So I'm gonna delete this one, okay. Uh, we wanna keep classwork, we wanna keep standards because those are the two that got set up ahead of time. Um, I'm going to get rid of test, delete. And I'm going to get rid of quiz. Delete. Uh, and then once you have them in there, you don't have to click and drag individuals. I'm gonna say, take everything in this group and I'm gonna move the contents and I want it to go into classwork, my, or excuse me, into standards, my imported group move, and it will dump that in. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with this entire one. I'm gonna move the contents into standards, or excuse me, into classwork, I'm going to move. So that's how you can get your grades set up. After you have done this and you're ready to post your grades, go ahead and go to the gradebook and hit uh, the sync button. Um, and it will take a little bit of time. Uh, grade passback has changed a little bit. It will send 30 days worth of material or anything active. So if you change a student's grade, it will send that one no matter how old it is. Um, so I'll get more details out, but that's the quick change right now. Go ahead and make that change in your course. Um, import your groups and then you can move your stuff around and then try your post. And we'll follow up with some more detailed information later. I've also included um, a document um, in the description below, as well as in the email that you received this video in, uh, with um, written instructions on how to do all of this. So thanks for being patient, and we'll follow up with more information soon.